The city telling one of the worst motels still around, enough is enough. The Bow and Arrow Lodge on Central has been an eyesore and a crime magnet for years. News 13's Allison Martinez is live near Central and Wyoming with a look at the changes that motel is making to stay open. Allison. Dean, the Bow and Arrow Lodge may look a lot different soon. The city is asking the property owners to make some big changes and it has to be done in 120 days. An eyesore that neighbors are ready to see go. That's a major source for drug activity and prostitution. It is a big nuisance. I mean, it's a magnet for crime because when you get these guys looking for drugs and they don't have the money to pay for it, they come over here and steal from us. It's no secret that the Bow and Arrow Lodge near Central and Wyoming is a crime magnet. Yeah, unfortunately, everybody in the Southeast area command knows where the Bow and Arrow is, and we've had instances over there over the years, but we want that place to get cleaned up. Which is why the motel may be getting its last chance. The city has cracked down on the place, asking the owners to fix an abundance of problems that came to light upon inspection. Some of the units we saw did uh, have some code violations, which included faulty wiring, which included holes in the wall, and those are all things that need to be fixed before you have occupants in the building. On February 8th, the property owners were taken to court, which is when the city gave them a 120 day deadline to bring the property into compliance. And the goal with code enforcement is to get property owners to take responsibility for their property and that's exactly what's happening right now. However, neighboring businesses aren't optimistic the renovations will make a big difference. No, it's not going to help. You can put a band-aid on a gunshot wound but it isn't going to help. It should help. It would be nice like they said if they could uh, fence it off. When we reached out to the owners, they did not want to go on camera. However, they say they do plan to fix the place up and add a fence around the entire property. Back to you. All right, Allison, thank you. Now, if that place is not brought up to code, the city could shut it down.